With unprecedented numbers of Republicans and Democrats unhappy with their party's nominee, former New Mexico Governor Gary Johnson is pulling disaffected voters to the Libertarian Party ticket. Johnson could be a spoiler this election. He's currently polling at 13 percent, and that's just shy of the 15 percent needed to get on the debate stage with Trump and Clinton. Johnson visited the Republican convention this week. When we met up with him, our conversation was quickly interrupted by delegates booing Ted Cruz and Trump antagonist Jorge Ramos interrupting our interview to offer encouragement. I hear choruses of boos from Jorge Ramos. Thank you so much. Oh, we're going to be talking with you in just a few minutes. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming. Oh, right. Thank you. You'll make the 15%, I'm sure. I think so. After this interview. I hope so. We caught up with Johnson the next day. You're the only presidential candidate who has to answer the question, when was the last time you smoked weed? When, when you do tell the truth, it's really hard to do damage. So, you know, they asked me months ago, when's the last time you used marijuana? And I'd have said, well, a couple days ago. Now, that was two months ago. And that's the last. I, I, and then I came to this epiphany that, uh, uh, first of all, you shouldn't show up on the job impaired. Well, running for president is a 24-7 endeavor. And being president is a 24-7 endeavor, as was being governor of New Mexico. So I'm not going to be on the job impaired. So two months ago was the last time that I indulged. So many parts of the Republican establishment are looking towards you. What do you make of all this? I was here all day yesterday at the Republican National Convention, and I had 1,000 people tell me they were going to vote for me. What do you make of the fact that I was here all day yesterday and nobody took one single poke at me and by poke, hey, what are you doing here? <clears throat> Not one comment in that regard. I think it's very significant that they are talking about looking at other options. A lot of your positions seem like liberal positions to most people, your positions on immigration, your positions on drug laws. How do you appeal to young Bernie Sanders voters? Well, uh, I have been pointing out the website isidewith.com. I think everybody owes it to themselves to get on the website isidewith.com, take the political quiz. It's really easy, 60 questions. End of the 60 questions, you get paired up with the presidential candidate most in line with your views. Outside of siding with myself first, um, I side with Bernie Sanders second at 73%. Now, clearly, we have a difference when it comes to economics, but when it comes to a woman's right to choose, marriage equality, let's legalize marijuana, crony capitalism is alive and well, and yes, government does grant uh, advantage to those that have money. Let's stop dropping bombs. Bernie and I, simpatico. What is it about the Donald Trump campaign, if you were on the debate stage, or when you were on the debate stage, that would that you would really attack and say, this is something that is unacceptable as a candidate to take this position or stake out this position. Building a wall across the border is crazy. They are not murderers and rapists. Statistically, they commit less crime than U.S. citizens. They are not taking jobs that U.S. citizens want. Let's not bring back waterboarding or torture or worse. Let's not kill the families of Muslim terrorists. And let's not apply tariffs on imported goods that you and I are going to have to pay for.